I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Ekons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. But if you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the, the Mullaney's... Yes? What about the Mullaney's? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. What is going on in there? I wonder. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep.
Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. I cannot enter. I have this thirst for blood. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. This one's neck is broken. He was young, probably the son.
stars told me I could have been a great actress. You killed your family. They mocked my talent. stage in the disease's evolution? So, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Come <laughs> on. 
safe here for a gentleman. Step away! Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. Tell me what you have discovered about vampires, Clarence. They've always been here. But if you search for long enough, you realize others know about these devils too. I'm not alone. Have you shared your research with anybody else? No. I've published my leaflets all across the city, hoping that someday someone will realize I'm printing the truth. What do you mean you're not alone? Who have you met? The Guard of Prewin. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll, Ichabod Throgmorton. Those names always pop up when you dig deep enough. Have you spoken with any of them? No. With the quarantine, it's almost impossible to leave the West End. But. As a doctor, maybe you could, Johnny. Are you asking me to help you prove the existence of vampires, Clarence? Yes, Johnny. Please, gather all the information you can find about vampires and bring it to me. You're the only friend I have left. I need you. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm doctor. I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Oh, not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand? Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you Take care of yourself. Women's right to vote is only the first step. Women die too in this war. Go 
Good evening, Dr. Reed. A great night, what? Do you need medical help? You would save my life, Dr. Reed. I have not felt so bad in many years. Don't worry. There is nothing serious to fear. I have seen far worse, I can assure you. I cannot imagine the pain these people must face, then. You have my gratitude, Doctor. This disease has ruined my appetite. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you will take care of yourself. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. Do you need medical assistance, Clarence? It's a little late for visiting hours, don't you think? I will see you later. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. This be what I'm looking for. I cannot. It's locked, all right. <laughs> 